Suppose you have $3,000 to invest. Which investment rounded to the nearest dollar yields the greater return over 10 years? Six and five tenths percent compounded semi-annually or 6% compounded monthly? And how much more is yielded by the better investment? Well, let's see. Here's the amount of money. Here's the number of years. And here is our first option. Now, remember our formula? A equals P1 plus R over N to the NT power. A is what we're looking for. We have a principal of 3,000. And then it's 1 plus this interest rate as a decimal, move the decimal point two places to the left over. Now what is n if compounded semi-annually? Remember n is the number of compoundings per year. So if compounded semi-annually, that's twice a year. n is 2. And then once again, n is 2 time, that's 10. So I have 2 times 10. All right, I'll let you calculate that, round it to the nearest whole dollar, and the amount is approximately $5,688. So there we have for option one, $5,688. I will write that down and erase our calculation. Here, $5,000. $688. Now, what was option two? Option two was 6%, and it was compounded, oops, excuse me, compounded monthly. All right, so here's our formula again. A equals P, 1 plus R over N to the NT power. So we still have a principal of 3,000. That's one plus. This time our interest rate is six 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 interest is six is sick interest is sick 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 the end 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 is sick month is sick month is sick is sick month is sick month is sick is sick month is sick month is sick is six month is six month is six two 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 is six any race 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 is six any